Hello once again, good friends. Welcome, new subscribers. I'm Brian from Apex Detail. I get a lot of emails asking questions on those instant, simple spray-on, rinse-off sealants. Uh, so I'm going to break out the Gion Wet, and we're going to talk about it for a little bit. Uh, we'll go over application, removal, its simplicity, um, how it protects. We'll beat it up a little bit. However, I am going to stop short a little bit when it comes to beating it up. I want to stop the video short because at the end of the video, I want you to put down in the comments section what you want me to put up against so we can uh, compare it. Uh, this is in the class of spray and rinse sealants such as the TAC, um, uh, Water Glass, your CarPro Hydro, um, Sonax Spray and Seal, and on and on. So, at the end of the video, down in the comment section, um, just put down there what you want me to put it up against on the same panel so we can compare. Let's get started with the video. Gion Q2M wet coat is an SiO2 infused instant spray sealant. Instant, just as simple as that, you spray on, rinse off, and you're ready to go. Available in 500, 1000, and 4000 milliliter containers, it is safe on all surfaces. Will have a pH tolerance in between 2 and 11, and has durability up to 12 weeks. And I'll quick give you an example as to how I prepare for protection like this. I'll first use an IP solution, 25%, or body solvent, whatever you're into. Follow that up with Angel Wax Perfect Polish, which is a polish slash cleaner, very fine abrasives. And then follow that up once again with an IP solution to remove any residue that's left behind by the polish. And we're ready to go. All right, this is the original version, Gion Wet Coat. There is a more concentrated version, Gion Wet Coat Essence. So simply after you're done washing the car, it's perfectly clean and it's still wet, apply the product by just spraying it on as even as you can and then rinsing thoroughly. Outside of the test area, we have the rest of the hood covered. We don't want overspray getting on because we're going to be doing some testing. We're going to beat the sealant up a little bit. Uh, like I said, we'll stop short of removing it altogether because I do want to put it up against another sealant and have some fun comparing its durability, comparing some gloss, some reflection. All right, being an instant sealant, there's no waiting for cure time. So we're going to remove the protectant wrap or the plastic wrap on the rest of the hood. I'll remove the tape and we can come in and take a look and see if it's made a difference with gloss and reflection see if it's made the little test area darker deeper richer and I could also show you sometimes there will be high spots to remove no big deal just grab a microfiber and buff them even you'll be able to see here um, easily see a huge contrast from the test panel to the rest of the hood and I did purposely leave behind some high spots just so you could see what they would look like Again, easily grab a microfiber, buff them even, buff them clean, move on. Its hydrophobic properties are resilient for the first few weeks. Then it starts to tail off. Um, you know, they claim an average of 12 weeks. You're more likely looking at four to six. Impressive beating, and if you have a little PT blower like this, you'll have the car dried in no time. 
So what we're going to do next is we're going to introduce some chem chemicals to the sealant and we'll emulate first driving into a car wash where the pre-rinse or the pre-wash is around an 11 or 12 on the uh, pH scale. Really harsh chemicals going through a car wash and we'll spray it on, we'll let, let it sit there for a couple minutes and we'll rinse it off. You can easily see the outline of the test area, something we can keep an eye on as we move forward with the testing. Okay, so the cleaner, which is Purple Power, it's cut five to one. It's been dwelling on the little test area for a couple minutes. I'll put the camera back on the mount. We'll rinse it off and see where we stand. No harm to the sealant there, but that was just one treatment. Um, there's no telling what tolerance it would have going through uh, many, many car washes. Next, IP solution at 25% used to remove old waxes and sealants, usually assisted by a microfiber to wipe it off. But we'll, we'll just spray it on, we'll let it dwell there for a couple minutes, and we'll rinse it off. All right, we've let that dwell for about five minutes or so, so let's rinse it off thoroughly. You can easily still see the outline of the test area. And following that, you will easily see the little test area has much more gloss and reflection and an outline compared to the rest of the hood. Moving right along, Citral 266. This is my wax and my sealant killer here. This removes stubborn or fresh waxes and sealants. You can see the resilience fighting off the 266 as we just sprayed on there. And I don't want to be a tease, but we're going to stop the video short here because I do want to put this up against other sealants. All right, my friends, so when it comes to ease of use, there isn't really much out there that's much quicker or easier, but sometimes it's not quite as simple as just spraying it on, rinsing it off. In some instances, you're gonna find high spots, which will show up as dark spots or dark streaking on the panel, and you simply just have to grab a microfiber and buff them even or buff them clean. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning of the vehicle, I will put this up against uh, another spray sealant in its family. That's why I stopped the torture short. And uh, so let me know, uh, the TAC glass shield or Sonax spray and sealed or Hydro 2 or many, many out there. Name them down in the bottom there and I'll pick one or two to put it up against and we'll have some fun. Brian from Apex Detail, if you have any questions, don't hesitate. Catch you guys in the next video. Thank you.